A tributary of the East River, Newtown Creek, is 3.8 miles long and provides a border for Brooklyn and Queens for much of that. It's crossed by multiple bridges. The first bridge encountered is the Pulaski Bridge, erected in 1954. It is a double bascule, six-lane bridge. One of those lanes is a protected bike lane. The Pulaski Bridge opens multiple times a day to allow maritime traffic entry to the Newtown Creek. Pulaski Bridge is a primary connection between Brooklyn and Queens. It connects 11th Street in Long Island City with McGinnis Boulevard in Brooklyn. The Pulaski Bridge on the Queens side overflies both the tracks of the Long Island Railroad and the Long Island Expressway. Those railroad tracks are the reason that Long Island City broke away from the municipal entity it was a part of in 1870. The industrial boom that those railroad tracks brought to Long Island City has been forever altered in the last 20 years as a huge residential build-out along the East River has been enacted. There's still active rail yards in Hunter's Point in Long Island City. The Hunter's Point yard is a passenger yard. The Long Island Railroad also has freight tracks that move through an area that was once known as America's Workshop. The Long Island Railroad drove rail to the north side of Newtown Creek beginning in the 1850s, finishing the job in the 1870s. One of the very few places in New York City you're actually going to see railroad operating at street grade is in Long Island City. Back on the main body of the waterway, 0.8 of a mile from the East River, you encounter the Dutch Kills tributary of Newtown Creek. Dutch Kills itself is crossed by multiple bridges. The first one you encounter is the DB Cabin Rail Bridge part of the lower Montauk tracks of the Long Island Railroad. Next up is Cabin M. Cabin M is the bridge that leads to the Montauk Cutoff, which is an elevated trackway that goes through Long Island City on its way to the Sunnyside Yards. The New York City DOT has the 1908 Borden Avenue Retractile Bridge up next. The entire roadway rolls back onto railroad tracks to open up an aperture for maritime traffic. Next up is the Long Island Expressway Queens Midtown Expressway section, which rises 106 feet over the waters of Dutch Kills. The Long Island Expressway is, was built in three sections. It is in total 71 miles long. It carries 87.7 thousand vehicle trips a day over Dutch Kills. That breaks down to about 32 million a year. All that traffic is heading into the Queens Midtown Tunnel and ultimately into Manhattan. Back on Dutch Kills, you'll find several derelict properties along the shoreline. The shoreline itself is largely collapsed. Notable, notable locations include Irving Subway Grate, a former iron foundry founded in 1907. Next bridge up is the Hunters Point Avenue Bridge, which is a single bascule bridge. I've seen it open exactly one time. That pretty pink tree is called a princess tree. It's an invasive species that was spread back in the 19th century by railroads transporting porcelain from East Asia. The Dutch Kills Turning Basin is a hammerhead-shaped part of the canal which would allow an articulated tug and barge combination or a cargo ship to reverse course and turn back around to exit Dutch Kills. Here's an aerial view from inside of LaGuardia Community College of the Turning Basin. LaGuardia Community College is part of an industrial complex that was established at the start of the 20th century in Long Island City called the Degnan Terminal. Maritime industrial activity on the creek is incredibly heavy. You'll see tugboats coming and going, picking up barges from recycling companies, bringing in fuel barges, taking out empty fuel barges. 
One of the big recycling companies on Newtown Creek is called Sims Metal. They enjoy a municipal contract. They handle our recycling. Another tributary of Newtown Creek on the Brooklyn side is called Whale Creek. It's so named because this is where they used to refine whale oil. It's entirely enclosed within the New York City Department of Environmental Protection's wastewater treatment plant in Greenpoint, which is a bit of a technological marvel. The product of the sewer plant is shipped out using these honey or sludge boats. The petroleum industry hasn't done refining on Newtown Creek since 1966. The name of the game today is all about distribution. Next bridge up is the Greenpoint Avenue Bridge, a double bascule bridge which connects the Blissville section of Long Island City with Greenpoint, Brooklyn. Greenpoint Avenue Bridge is a very br busy bridge. It opens multiple times a day. Efforts are made to try and have traffic go through at night. The Greenpoint Avenue Bridge carries an amazing amount of traffic, 13.7 million vehicle trips a year. The Blissville Rail Yard is underneath the Greenpoint Avenue Bridge, and you will often see freight rail working these tracks. These are the tracks of the Lower Montauk Branch. Apollo Street on the Brooklyn side is a wasted opportunity of a shoreline. It is dead bank center of the Greenpoint oil spill, largest terrestrial oil spill in American history. Estimates are that 17 to 30 million gallons of product is in the ground under Greenpoint. The product was lost by the Standard Oil Company of New York, who through mergers and acquisitions would eventually rename their operation in Greenpoint, Brooklyn as Mobile. Between Penny Bridge and the Pulaski Bridge, the entire Brooklyn coastline used to be one gigantic oil refinery with Apollo Street at its center. On the Queens side, the Queens County Oil Works was built in the footprint of the first large-scale petroleum refinery in the United States back in 1854. Cavalry Cemetery came to Long Island City in 1848. There are more people buried in the ground in Queens than there are walking the surface. Next bridge up is the Kosciuszko Bridge, which replaces an earlier 1939 version. It carries the Brooklyn Queens Expressway and all of its traffic over Newtown Creek. Another Queenside tributary of Newtown Creek is called Mastiff Creek. It's a highly impacted canalized waterway that has a tremendous amount of illegal dumping and a combined sewer outfall at its very end that discharges 290 million gallons a year of untreated sewage into this small waterway. The last time the Maspeth Avenue Plank Road crossed Newtown Creek was 1875. There are pieces of wood which we have seen in illustrations from that era still sticking up out of the water at the Maspeth Avenue Plank Road. It's part of a series of projects that Newtown Creek Alliance works on to reclaim these street ends and make them publicly available. Next up is the Grand Street Bridge, which joins East Williamsburg slash Bushwick with Maspeth. Grand Street Bridge is a swing bridge that acts as a demarcation point 3.1 miles from the East River. Another tributary of Newtown Creek, the East Branch, is found on the eastern side of the Grand Street Bridge. It's a particularly impacted waterway. You've got illegal dumping, of course, but the biggest contributor to the pollution here is the combined sewer outfall that you find at the back of the canal. Notice the size of that tractor trailer sitting on top of the seven vaulted sewer that is NC083, which releases some 586 million gallons a year of untreated wastewater into the Newtown Creek waterway. New York City has a combined sewer system, meaning that sanitary and stormwater travel through the same pipes. During dry weather, this isn't a problem, but a quarter inch of rain is all it takes in New York City to trigger outfalls into area waterways. The Metropolitan Avenue Bridge is the last of the vehicle bridges that we encounter on Newtown Creek. 
you're roughly 3.5 miles back from the East River here, and you will see industrial pollution just oozing out of the banks. Continuing back into the English Kills tributary, into East Williamsburg or Bushwick, you encounter the last bridge over Newtown Creek, which is a freight rail bridge, the Montrose Avenue Rail Bridge. It's part of the old Evergreen Freight Rail Line. Today, it's used by the New York and Atlantic Company, which are contractors to the Long Island Railroad, to handle freight business. This is the most heavily impacted part of Newtown Creek. Thanks for listening, and we'll explore the various sections of Newtown Creek in more detail in the latter videos.